Hi, my name is Seth Hampton, and I'm a master trainer here at Pilates Sports Center in Sino, California. And I'm here with Ariel today, and we're going to be showing you a major abdominal workout with ball stability that focuses on deep isometric hold. So this is Ariel. She's one of our trainers as well. And I'm going to have you lie down in a supine position. How you doing, Ariel? Good. All righty then. You ready to bust it out a little bit? I'm ready. Okay. So we're going to start with the right leg in tabletop. This is to get into the position. We're going to have the right arm behind your head. The trunk will be in flexion. And the left hand is going to stabilize the ball on the knee. The elbow is slightly bent. And the leg is going to be extended to 45. Now you can always modify this by bending the leg into a hook lying position with the foot on the pad. That's a modification. Or simply bring it up. And I'm going to have her take the feet and actually hook on so that kind of gives her that stability. Now right in this position, she's going to take a big inhale to prepare. On the exhale, I want you to gather your rib cage in. Right there on the left side where you're pressing in the ball. So you're pressing in the ball and gathering that rib. Nice big inhale. Exhale, gather it. So she's really feeling that isometric hold on that side. The ball is stabilizing, and she's really going to town. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hold and take a break. Pause for a second. Good. So this is all about that isometric, fierce rib connection. We're going to go on from there. Come back to the same position with your head placed behind. Now this time on an inhale, you're going to drop your leg all the way to the floor. Inhale, and only three inches come up. Exhale for one. Good. Slowly down. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Feeling the core connection here. Three. One more time. Four. Hold it there. We're going to abduct the leg to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it in for one. Good. And two. The back, the front are working. And three. One more time. And four. Now give me a circle. It circles around for one, two, a little slower, three, and four. Opposite direction. And a one, and two, and three. Last time. Four. Hold it there. Inhale, and come back down. Don't hate me. <laughs> Take a moment right there. So everything she did was very controlled. And the leg was moving as a result of the front and the back muscles connecting deeply together. So it's not about the hip flexor. It's all about stability. Let's try it on the other side. And this time we're going to go right through the whole thing. No pausing. OK? Get to your bearings. So we've changed the other side, the opposite position. She's in trunk flexion. Notice how she's bending her elbow at the side here to really stabilize. Ready? Take an inhale. Exhale, rib in. Inhale, sandwich that rib in. Cage the core one more time. And in. Let's go right into it. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale down. And lift. Two more times like that. One. Last time. Two. Hold it there. It abducts. One. And exhale. In. Inhale out. Two. One more time. Three, let's take it right into the circles and around. Very slow, get deep. Find that connection. One more time around. Opposite direction, we're almost home. One and two and three. One more for good luck. Here we go. Hold it there and come back down. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the Ball Crunch series.